day. Welcome back to my channel. So, okay. Next steps on where we are and what we're doing. So when I last left, we were buttoning up the cockpit and doing all that. So we'll do that real quick. Um, cockpit's buttoned up. Uh, the fit isn't too terrible. We got this piece on. We had, um, as you can see, there we go. If we'll focus, there we go. Had some fit issues, so we got some putty in there. And then that takes care of that. Um, I need to putty that piece. I just now noticed that, but I can do that. All right, so that's that part. Um, before I go any further, and oops, I apologize. Again, I'm really crappy about doing that. I did do what I said I was going to do and um, put the some sort of detail in the back part here. And, and like I said, there's a, you can see when you look up inside past the, past the pilot, you know, the, there's the one part of canopy that sits over top of this, and you can see the cabling and everything that's in, that comes off of this instrument panel. Um, all I did, and, and it should be kind of obvious, is I took sprue um, and just sliced it, you know, kind of like a meat slicer. And then I took some wiring, some wire, wire, thin wire. Here we go. Do I have some of it? Nope. That's, here we go. Took some wire. Nipped it, bent it, and then just put that there. Um, also took some other wire and stripped it out to just give it some detail and, and you know, give a little more cabling type detail. Um, again, it's not what's really there, but, you know, it will suggest a detail in there and it will hopefully occupy the eye enough to make that work. So that will dry and I will paint that, but I did want to show that before I paint it up and hid, hid what I've done. So that's what I did. Now, let's, that, that finishes step two. Moving on to step three. Um, so not difficult. Um, you know, this piece goes on this piece, goes on this piece, goes on this piece. Now I did make some notes. Um, so it says, put this, put these together, put these onto this, then put these onto this. So before you put these pieces onto here, paint this. Uh, I just found that easier. Um, if you look down into the belly of the beast, if you look down in there, um, you're going to be able to see into there through the intakes. Now, this is also going to be seen. So I've painted this up, and I did paint... Um, the inside of these, and you can see there's some left over there, uh, some overspray, which I don't care about because it'll just add to paneling detail. Um, so I painted those, and I painted the insides of these. Um, I also noted say to paint four and five. So steps four and five, we slide over here. Step four is the inside of this, and then step five are these guys. So. Um, you're going to see the inside of this and that goes back to there. So you will see some of this inside. Um, so painted that, again, just so to help ink do the detail. And do I have the other parts in reach? I have one of them. So I also gave the inside of this uh, gunmetal color. Um, and as I did it, I noticed I can see the ejector pin marks. Now, here, if you'll note the step, the step, the step, there's a pitot tubes. Um, those, there's a air intake, those go in here. So if that T-tail is going to be seen, so is this. So your sink marks are going to have to be filled. Um, my intent is to put the covers on. However, because I'm paying attention to just doing this thing fairly well, or at least that's my intent. Um, this goes on this one. Yeah. 
There we go. So since I'm going to pay attention to actually trying doing this thing right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill those. I'll fill them and sand them, and then I'll repaint those so that we have those. So anyway, that was the note that I took. Um, so as we look at this, so do this, do this, paint them, then put that on. I just found it easier. Uh, then we put these together. I want to point something out. You see this little piece right here? Um, I found that this was broken. And I was taking care to be careful of my parts. So be aware. It's a little teeny tiny piece. Um, and I am looking. I know I have it. I found it. And I put it back in my bin. I keep a plastic bin, which is where I put all my parts, um, instead of leaving them in the box. Um, I have the piece, and I will put that piece back on. Um, of course, you know, it's not like right handy. I, last I'd seen it, I put it right here in this one corner, so I could just reach over and grab it. But then, of course, I fiddled with it, so it's not, not sit. There it is. No, it isn't. Is this it? Nope. Nope. Of course not. So, yeah, sorry. I'm waffling because I'm thinking. Anyway, so, yeah, that won't be hard to fix. Just, I'm calling that out. You know, be aware. Which is really the whole point of this. Um, next bit, D, D, D. Uh, you put your tail fin top together, put that on. And then it also says to put your, your tail fins on. So, it's calling for you to put these on. Um, don't. Or at least... That would be my recommendation is to not. Um, I am not going to because of things like that. Um, I am fumble fingered. I will break things. So when I get this thing to this stage where I am now starting to look at the overall paint job among the last things I'm going to put on here. So. I will put the I will put the doors together. I will put the wheel wheel doors in. I will not put the wheels in. Um, but I am going to put the whole thing together. Then I will do the base camo paint scheme. Um, you know the, your your armaments. These all can go on. Armaments can all be done, you know, separately, and then stuck on. Um, I'll do the armaments while paint's drying, but short version, basically the point of where I'm trying to go here is in step three, I am not going to do this. I'm also not going to do step six. Yeah, step six. I'm not going to do that until all of the other fiddling stuff is ready, okay? Um, so, and, and solely because of the mount points and the fact that it is challenging. Okay, you know, it, it's challenging to not break it. So if you're fumble fingered like me, if you're not fumble fingered, you're careful, who cares? Just see what I'm do that. But I'm not going to, and that will be my recommendation. So that's as far as I am now. I am now to this point. I'm about to start step four. Um, note this drill out holes. There are holes here, here, and here. So this that set of six holes. Did I miss one? No. So there we go. So these two, these two, and those two. Um, I need swing. There, there, and there. Um, all need to be drilled out. There's a mark for you to drill them. Drill it. Don't forget because you won't be able to see them on this side. Now I intentionally didn't clean these up yet. I'm waiting. They are drilled a little bit smaller so I'm waiting to, to actually look at that part. So put these pieces together, put the door in, then put these to this. Then we can put, and note, it's calling out drilling out another hole. So another set of holes there. You can see the mark. These two marks, that's what those marks look like. So punch those out, and there's another one, so there's three. Okay, this one's saying only drill out two. So, there are three marks 
here, here, and here, but they're telling you to just drill out those two. So that's where I'm going next. Those are steps four, then five, which is put on your um, intakes. Okay, so those are the next steps I have. Uh, the last thing I want to call out is, you know, before I move on, is this. It's really cool. They do have weight on wheels for the for your um, nose wheel and for your uh, wing wheels. So that's really cool. So that is where we are right now. I'm currently on step four. I will go ahead and finish off step four and come back um, once I have that done. So that's where we are for the moment. I am going to go ahead and I'm like 10 minutes into this. So in the interest of keeping these videos not forever long, I'll go ahead and stop now. And I'll say, hey, and we'll be back um, with the next part after you know I've gotten the next few steps done. Thank you.